the media and the creative industry is facing a huge challenge, and I guess part of it is what we're going to discuss today. It didn't work until I put on this white mask. I'm thinking, all right, what's going on here? Is it the lighting condition? We are thrilled to be joined by Dr. Joy Bolamini. This is my first time in Kenya, and we've been so well greeted and hosted. So thank you all for making time to come. Do you feel like the world is moving closer to accountability or are we just getting better at masking bias under the banner of innovation? One thing since the film came out, every time I see it or we screen it, it feels like it could have come out yesterday. What are we doing about African AI? The amount of data mining that is happening to an extent where even if they give informed consent, well, either you give the consent or you don't receive the service. What's the work? Is work debiasing the algorithms or is work actually debiasing power? People come up to me like, we're going to debias the systems. Said, so, did we get rid of the humans? I was like excited when Jalisa told me that you're coming to Nairobi. Yeah, front row, you made it. Even in Oxford, I was in front row. Front row twice. Tech is just a tool and what the drivers. So if we can get the right drivers, it would be amazing for the future of Kenya. We at the Institute for Ethics in AI at the University of Oxford are so proud. Dr. Joy's work, that of ADL, those of all the people we've heard here today, and the local partners is so essential to building this global commitment. And I'm committed to this, and that's why I'll keep on coming to Nairobi. Unstable desire remains undefeated. The fate of AI, still uncompleted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.